Hi, one best. We are Sports Picks. His name is Mike Renner. My name is Rudy Loshak. We are the Odds Cup. We come to you from sportsbookreview.com, sbrodds.com. We're in the heart of the Bulls handicapping season, Ooh. right? Today is Wednesday, December 14th, so uh, none of the Bulls have started, but they're about to start, and we're, you know, capping game after game after game. Right now, we're going to be talking with uh, SBR contributor Mark Lathrop about uh, an interesting bowl that I that is a 10-foot pole for me as of right now. It's the New Orleans Bowl, Southern Miss, and Louisiana Lafayette. It is played in Superdome in New Orleans, so you have a home state advantage for Louisiana mm-hmm. Lafayette. That's the ultimate uh, d- topic of debate, whether that matters or not. Uh, uh, you know, I'm sure that Mark Lathrop has done uh, his in-depth research on this one and can really, sh- can really shed some light on possible line value here. This is an interesting one because Southern Miss was way overvalued for most of the year, right? They, yes. they headed into their final game on a seven-game ATS losing streak, but... Yep. Wound up beating Louisiana Tech outright as a two touchdown underdog. That is not. That is no joke. No. I mean, you can't beat Louisiana Tech outright as a big underdog like that without actually having, without at least having some kind yeah, of yeah, legitimacy on the field. Definitely not a hundred percent fluke. That's for sure. You know, and you're looking at two squads that are six and six, but ULL eight and four against the spread. Pistol Pete. They yeah. won three or four. Yes. They got a decent defense, and as you said, all right, they've been covering ATS. They're on a run. Right. Cross the ball. Right. Three and eight. Three right. and eight ATS loser of five of the last seven so but exactly. still that one signature I, I don't know it's this is the 10 foot pole but right. I'm dying to hear so what before, Mark's before you say. before you want to bet against Louisiana Lafayette you're like alright let's bet against them as you said they were a good bet in general on the year they've yep. covered their last four in a row and then you're thinking well maybe that's fine but, but in bowl games they're not a good bet in their last four bowl games, they've covered all four of them. All four. So wow. hard to bet against Louisiana Lafayette, yeah. especially with the home uh, state advantage. Mark Lathrop, I think we've set up very well why this is a bowl that's con- probably confusing to a lot of people. What can you tell us about it? Right. Well, I, I look at those against the spread uh, results, and it's it's one of those with your like with your stockbroker. Uh, you know, historical returns do not re- uh, equal uh, future results. So um, I'm going to admit we don't get a lot of Lafayette games up here in Idaho. Um, so when I started handicapping a game, a team I don't follow a lot, I look at uh, quarterback play, and this is where uh, I see a big advantage with Southern Miss in this game. So Lafayette has this uh, LSU transfer, uh, Anthony Jennings. He is running uh, 11 TDs to 12 interceptions this year. Um, he looked really bad in some games. I watched some tape. He stares down receivers and gets picked off. Uh, it's just something you can't do. So uh, especially as an underdog, coming in this game, if Lafayette gets behind, they don't have the weapons to come back on a team like Southern Miss. Um, they have a good running back in McGuire. His yards per carry is down this year over last year. Um, but overall, their offense is just underperforming this year, you know, regardless of over the, against the spread uh, records. He, you know, they're scoring 23.8 points per game against defenses allowing 20.7. Uh, that's not a winning combination most of the time. Uh, just to get bowl eligible, they won three of the last four conference games. But those three wins were against teams in the bottom of their conference. So I don't even know if they should be in this bowl, to, to tell you the truth. And on the other side of the ball, we have Southern Miss. Um, I really like Nick Mullins. You looked at their, uh, their spread of games where they were missing against the spread. Nick uh, missed a lot of time this year or was banged up. You know, he dislocated his thumb. That's not a good thing for it to have happen for a quarterback. Uh, he is healthy now, as you saw in the Louisiana Tech game. I watched that game extensively. He looked great. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's, he scored 36 touchdowns last year. So uh, if you look at his stats last year versus this year, yeah, it's a downtick, but he missed a couple of games. Uh, they beat SEC Kentucky, uh, and they were down 28-7 in that game. That just showed you what kind of explosive offense they have. Uh, they've got big receivers. They've got Edo Smith at running back, who looks fantastic, and uh, I think he'll be getting a look on Sunday. Uh, he's just really shifty and uh, it's just fast. Um, kind of the wild card in this game is that Southern Miss is missing a, a kicker that got hurt early in the year, and he was, uh, you know, an NFL caliber kicker. You know, he only missed one field goal on the year, and so they're down to their second uh, kicker. So. I, I see that they're going to be really aggressive on fourth down, and they're going to extend their fourth down territory to, say, maybe the 30-yard line, which I think helps them um, against a team like Lafayette. Lafayette, like earlier in the year, uh, they got into this four-overtime game against Tulane, and they, they just can't stop anybody. Their cornerbacks can't stop anybody, and it's just going to be a terrible matchup for their cornerbacks against these Southern Miss receivers. 
Um, so I already took Southern Miss minus three, and I'm going to take them all the way up to minus seven. I mean, I think this is one of the strongest plays on the bowl games on the 17th. And I like uh, Southern Miss on the team total if that comes out, too, on the over. Mm, interesting. Wow. Yeah. yeah, great, great breakdown. That's what we were hoping for, and we certainly got it. What yeah. do you think now, the, uh, Pistol? I, I'm, I'm agreeing with it. Yeah, I mean, Nick Mullins uh, playing his final college game, yeah. uh, has a great career yet. So uh, And also makes... getting some time to heal any little mm -hmm. wounds still yeah, might yeah. have and to really focus on how big this game is for him sure. as well. Definitely makes a lot of sense to me. And uh, as Mark Lathrop said, the line did open to three. Now it's up to four and a half market wide. He is still recommending a play on Southern Miss at minus four and a half. Mark Lathrop, thanks so much. Thank you, Mark. You Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.